So let's uh, let's move on to something that that really was was the bedrock. A lot of people have said, you know, that cult guy is just a gun guy. And really, we haven't talked about guns in the Second Amendment a whole lot. I mean, we talk about it, right, because it's a constitutional issue. But it's not uh, – you've not run on that. It's not – it's been something that the other side has tried to kind of, you know, box you in on. Really, the issue hey, to that – To me, the Constitution is just like breathing or drinking water. It is, and, you, and we need it, right? It, it wouldn't have mattered if it was a violation of people's first – you know, back in 2018 when I stood up for people's uh, Second Amendment right and Article 1, Section 24 of the Washington State Constitution, citizens' rights. Um, it, it wouldn't have mattered to me if, if the, someone would have limited uh, citizens' ability to freely speak or go to the church of their choice or peaceably assemble um, any one of our rights. It, it just so happened that it was a huge infringement on our Second Amendment. Right. And now, um, you know, they found a judge who said that it was constitutional to infringe mm -hmm. on 18 to 21 year olds rights. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I was asked about that on media. And, and I pointed out that, you know, there are judges decisions that get overturned all the time. And it's amazing that Bob Ferguson finds a judge that says that 1639 is constitutional, but then uh, $30 car tabs uh, finds a judge that says, oh, no, we, we can't do that. And Gavin Inslee says that the voters were confused. It's just amazing, isn't it? Sure. But yeah, and also the United States Supreme Court, um, when FDR put 120,000 Japanese Americans in internment camps in World War II, you know, for our safety, um, the Supreme Court of the United States upheld that. Mm -hmm. So it later got overturned. And then, yeah and they were awarded millions of dollars for their rights being violated. That's well, they should um, have. It happens all the time. And another interesting fact about judges, judges are lawyers, right? So I have a few friends that are lawyers and the constitution, now this is really weird. This is, this is odd. You wouldn't think this would be the case, but the constitution is not taught in law school. It, yeah, don't fall off your chair, but it is not. It They teach about case law, which is other judges' decisions. So um, most lawyers don't even see the Constitution um, in law school. That's pretty yeah. sad if you think about it. Yeah, unless they're studying constitutional law. Yeah, yeah other than they, that, unless yeah. Unless they go back, yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's unbelievable, and it's no surprise why our rights are being violated left and right, uh, not just in Washington State, but in other states, California, mm -hmm. Oregon, um, uh, New York, you know, places like this. It's just it's it's really stunning, and there has just not only has there been a blind uh, eye put towards this from the courts, um, it. it it seems like, uh, Lauren, people have become just conditioned to it. It's like, well, there goes Bob Ferguson again, or, well, there goes Jay Inslee again, and they just kind of shrug, like, what can I do? Uh, I've yeah. got something you can do on November 3rd. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we can kick their behinds out of office. Yep, That's and that means sure. show up. Yep, show yeah, up, we need show everybody up. everybody to show up and vote. Yes. And, and bring your friends. Have yes. a have a ballot uh, party. Yep. And uh, get together. Make sure your friends fill out their ballot. Make sure they get it turned in. Check and make sure everyone you know is registered to vote. We need everybody to vote. We need everybody to turn in the ballot. 